Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. Today we're going to talk about a couple of issues concerning Thomas Partey's transfer to Arsenal. I'm going to give you an update on it. The Ghanis, according to reports from the Express, have come to an agreement with Thomas Partey's representatives and I'm going to tell you when uh, they will announce the signing of uh, the Ghanaian. Who many in reports from coach of the Ghana Black Stars especially and former players have advised not to join the Ghanaians. They feel Arsenal is not the right fit for the Ghanaian but it looks like he's going to ignore all those detractors and join the Ghanaians. The date for his official announcement according to reports has been revealed. Also we're going to talk about the Ghana Black princesses and the Ghana black meetings uh, seven players from that squad have tested positive for the COVID-19 and they were camping ahead of their qualifier games uh, but unfortunately the games that were scheduled to be played in September will have to be postponed I'll be giving you more details and that Kudus Mohammed has taken part in his first game with his club side Ajax in pre-season against Wolfsberger AC in Austria I'll be taking you through the game how he performed and also so we'll hear from the man himself or Kudus or Mohammed. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So I'll just jump right into it and start off from the camp of the Ghana Black Princesses and the Ghana Black Maidings. Now they were camping ahead of their qualifier games in September, October and November. And unfortunately, during that camping, they have contracted the COVID-19 virus the coronavirus and it's quite unfortunate seven of the players from the female junior national team have tested positive for the deadly coronavirus and days after camping started throwing their preparation into total uh, disarray now the players of national women's under 17 and under 20 teams the black maidings and black princesses were viewed to have contracted the virus after general tests were carried out on the squad of two teams according to reports in the local media the test by medical officials showed that seven players from the two teams had contracted the virus which is highly contagious now the gfa will now work with the ghana health service officials uh, to make final decision to determine on whether the camp should be completely called off following uh, the revelation this is also likely to further delay the start of the football in the country as this would be seen as an example of how the disease could spread if football in the local leagues is made to start the tests were carried out when the training camp of the players opened in cape coast uh, late last week as uh, the two teams had gathered to start the preparation for the upcoming continental qualifiers players uh, technical members and team members and officials of black maidings and black princesses underwent mandatory covid 19 tests in line with the laid down protocols by fifa and CAF for the resumption of football the black maidings who smashed uh, liberia 10-0 in a two-legged world cup qualifier match have a date against rivals nigeria in october 2020 now the black princesses are preparing to play guinea bissau in the 2021 fifa under 20 world cup qualifiers and unfortunately this is what happened uh, we hope uh, they get back on their feet quickly we hope things uh, are sorted out as quickly as possible for these two national team and we hope that this COVID-19 really does leave us with a vaccine is the only solution now stay safe stay at home if you don't have to go out and wear your nose mask if you are going out so that's the latest that the black princesses and the black maiden seven players have tested positive for the virus move on to my next story it has to do with Ghanaian player Thomas Te Party. now I've been talking extensively here on the channel about him thomas party to arsenal thomas party ck akono says thomas party shouldn't join derek Boatin says thomas party shouldn't join like kingston said this is time for him to step up and be the main man so much talk about the Ghanaian and his move to arsenal and now it looks like the Ghanaians are more than positive and likely according to reports from express the code uk to have secured the services of the Ghanaian. Now, according to this report from the Express, it states here that Arsenal are ready uh, to pay the release clause of the Ghanaian. A, a former reports coming in stated that the Ghanaians had two bids rejected that included a player swap deal. Arsenal 
were not ready to slash the cash on the guardian but now they are more than ready to do that according to reports the first bid that they made was around 25 million euros and they added player matthew Guendouzi, and that was what uh, happened now with juventus also coming in they have seen that if they don't act fast and if the coach Mikel Arteta is really keen on getting the services of the Ghanaian, it's more than likely that they will have it snapped right under their nose by Juventus, who have shown interest in it now, ready to offer Bernadeschi and probably Douglas Costa. Now, according to the Express, Arsenal have agreed to pay the sum finally. Prior to, the agree- to this agreement, North London Club tried swapping players. They also added a lump along with bring their players. Uh, the Reggie Blancos did not come to terms with that, with such deals. After pulling the strings in the negotiations, both the clubs can close the transfer as soon as possible. According to reports, the estimated date is near the end of this month, August, or by the start of September next month. Mikel Arteta is trying to build his regime at the Emirates. Uh, they are just uh, the building blocks of progress. Arsenal is also chasing Lille defender Gabriel. So Thomas Party still remains Arsenal's uh, primary target going forward. The Gunners cannot let this one slip. Uh, they dare not let this one slip. It, it would be really detrimental to their progress uh, there. They have they need him. They need Thomas T Party. They need him really keenly and they are pulling all the stops to get the Ghani and let me know what you think in the comments box on this latest update most of you are in favor of that and have blasted CK Akono for his comments but it's more than likely now that he will be joining them despite all the detractors telling him not to join the club let me know what you think in the comments box and Thomas Partey it's more than likely now that he will be joining Arsenal for the upcoming season early September late august we will get uh, the latest update on the Ghanaian. to my final story it has to do with another youngster making his mark in dutch land in amsterdam with ajax he joined them in july this year and he has made his first appearance in pre-season after working out issues with work permit and all that his name is kudus mohammed now kudus mohammed played his first game for Ajax against Wolfsberger AC in Austria in preseason for the first time. The 19-year-old was making his first appearance for Ajax, made an impact by starting the move that resulted in the second goal of the match. He was named on the bench for this friendly, came on for the first for, for the second 45 minutes. After missing the first two g- matches of Ajax's preseason because of work permit uh, paperwork, now Kudus finally got the chance to play for his new club following his 9 million euro move from Norge Zealand. He was introduced to the match to take the place of Lisandro Martinez at halftime when Ajax had taken the lead thanks to a third minute strike from Quincy Promise. His impact was immediate as he split the midfield of the home side before laying the pass that resulted in the kick in the goal that sealed the victory for Ajax. He appeared solid on the ball and contributed to the team's second goal of the game, scored by teenager Ryan Gravenberg in the 53rd minute. At the end of the game, Kudus enjoyed a good exercise and as in line with the feature again for Ajax on Saturday, they will take on Red Bull Salzburg. So Kudus Mohamed has made his preseason debut for Ajax and it was not a bad uh, debut. We'll have a listen to the Ghanaian talking after the game to the media team of Ajax. Let's have a listen to him. First match, how did it go? Good to get back on the pitch, you know. Uh, after the match, I had some, some days off and been preparing to, to start playing. So it was good to get some minutes back on my legs and then yeah, do what I do best. So it was a great feeling to get back with the team. And how does it feel to wear the Ajax jersey? <laughs> feels really good you know I couldn't wait to start playing with my team and then helping so I just join my teammates and use my individual skills to help them do well in the season and what did the coach say bef- uh, to you before you went in um, it was more tactical stuff on offensive and defensive on what he he- expects from me in my role so that was basically it and then the rest is just um, use my abilities to help the team win and, yeah so how are your first days here with the team in Austria 
it's been good nice people nice teammates and um, yeah still new stuff new people still learning and adapting but it's been great so far and i'm looking forward to to the season to start so who is helping you in the team everyone is helping but uh, naturally i'm more closer to the african guys so onana lasina yeah so it's pretty much with them that yeah so what do they say to you <laughs> Just be yourself and enjoy. Yeah. You enjoy today on the pitch, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are you hoping for the next days here in Austria? Um, in as much as it's a preseason, it's just to get ready as much as possible for the season and then push myself and then yeah, get the legs ready for the season. How are you looking forward to next season? Can't wait. More magic. So you heard it from the man himself. A little bit of magic I look forward to it we'll be following him closely we'll, we'll know more about kudus mohammed so that has been it for today thomas party's potential move to arsenal september first week or the end of august we will be hearing from them also we'll be talking about the black princesses and the black maiden seven players have tested positive for COVID 19 it's quite unfortunate i've also been talking to you about Kudus Mohammed's first game in preseason for Ajax. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.